Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add video background to the elements in your website. So here we can see I have this card over here and we have these elements over here. But we can see for the background, we have this video. And I just downloaded this video from a website called pixabay.com where you can get free images and videos for your websites. So this is what we're going to design in this video using HTML and CSS. So let's get started. <laughs> Alright, here I have created this folder called video bg and I just opened it with vs code and I also have a folder called videos over here and in that we have this file mp4 file which we're going to use as the video background all right let's start by creating the necessary files so let's create an html file let's click on new file and uh, let's create a file called index.html and uh, let's create one more file for the css let's name it style.css all right, let's start with the index.html file and in VS Code you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML file code. All right, let's link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and press tab and here in the href I'll just type style.css and for the card let's create a division with the class of card and in that we will have the content of the card and we'll also have the video. So first of all let's create the content. So for the content, we need to have this heading, then we need to have this paragraph and also this button. So let's create a division with the class of card content. And in that we will have an S3 and uh, for the S3 we need to have the text web design. So let's type web design over here. And then we need to have a paragraph. And uh, let's see what we need to type. So we need to type learn the basics the right way. So I'll just copy this text and uh, let's paste it over here inside this paragraph and next we need to have a button so let's create an anchor tag and here you can add the link of your page i'll just type hash for now and uh, i'll also add a class called btn so that we can style it to look like a button and for the button we have this text learn more so just type learn more all right that's it with the content of the card now let's add the video First of all, let's see how it looks in the browser. So I have this extension called Live Server installed in VS Code. So once you install that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on Open with Live Server. And here we can see our design is displayed over here in the browser. All right now, let's add the video. So for that, I'll just create a video tag. And in the video tag, I'll just add a source tag. And here in source, we need to add two attributes. The first one is SRC. So here we need to add the link of the video. So our video is inside videos forward slash network dot mp4. And then we need to add an attribute called type. So we will set the type to video mp4. And let's close the source tag over here. Now let's go back to our browser. Now here we can see that the video is being displayed over here, but it is not playing. Now for that we need to add an attribute over here called autoplay. So here inside the video tag. Let's type autoplay and now let's go back to our website and here we can see the video is being played. Now here we can see after the video is played once it stops. Now we want to play this video again and again infinite amount of times. So for that we need to add an attribute called loop and we'll also add an attribute called muted. So even if the video has sound, the sound will be muted. All right now let's go back to our browser and everything looks all right. So that's it with the HTML. Now let's start with the CSS. So first of all let's style this card division. So I'll just type dot card and we will set a max width of 300 pixels and we'll set the font family to Roboto sans serif. Alright, now the next thing we will do is we will set the position of this video relative to the card so that we can set the height of the video relative to this uh, card. So here in the card, I'll just type position relative and uh, let's select the video. So I'll just type card and in that we have the video tag. So let's type video and for the video, I'll just type position absolute and let's set the height to 100% of the parent and set the top position to 0 and the left position to 0 and now here we can see we have the video displayed over here now we will add some padding top to this card content 
so here we can see we have some padding top for the card content so let's target that we have this division with the class of card content so i just type card card content and let's set the overall padding to 24 pixels and we'll set a padding top of 100 pixels Right now let's go back to our browser and uh, now we can see that the width of the video is more than what we need so for that we have to set overflow of hidden for the card so here we'll just type overflow hidden so now whatever is outside this card will not be visible and we'll also add a border radius so i'll just type border radius and i'll just set it to 8 pixels and uh, now we can see we have the video displayed over here with the correct width and height now the next thing we need to do is we need to bring this card content on top of the video so right now the video is above the card content so for that we have to set a z index so i'll just type z index and uh, let's set it to 3 and now if you go back we can see that the content is still not being displayed over here that's because for the video we have a position of absolute so we need to add some position over here for the card content so let's type position and let's set it to relative and now we can see that the content of the card is displayed over here now let's style these elements first of all let's style the s3 so i'll just type card card content s3 and let's set the font size to 32 pixels and uh, let's set the margin to 0 and let's set the color of the text to white and this is our heading now let's style the paragraph so let's type card card content p and let's set the color of the text to 80ffdb and now let's style this button so for the button we have this anchor tag with a class of btn so let's type card card content a dot btn and let's set the background color to white and let's set the color of the text to dark gray and we'll also remove the underline so let's type text decoration to none and uh, let's also add some padding so I'll just type padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and 24 pixels left and right and let's also add some margin top so I'll just type margin top and let's set it to 10 pixels now the margin top is not being added over here because uh, anchor tags are by default inline elements so we have to change it into inline block so let's type display of inline block and now we can see we have the margin top let's also set the font weight to bold All right now the last thing we need to do is add the hover effect so in our original design we can see that we have this color change so let's go back and uh, here i'll just type card card content a dot btn colon hover and let's set the background color to 80ffdb and we'll also add a smooth transition so i'll just type transition of all to 400 milliseconds ease right now let's go back and uh, let's hover over this button and we have the hover effect so everything is working all right now the last thing we need to do over here is to add a linear gradient background color over here so here we can see in the original design we have this black color at the bottom and as we go up we have it fade to a transparent color so we have to do the same over here in our design so let's go back to our css and uh, let's go to the card content and here we'll just add a background color and we'll set it to linear gradient and we'll set the angle to zero degree and for the first color i'll just type rgba zero 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 and one and for the second color i'll just type rgba 255 255 255 and zero right now let's go back to our browser and uh, we can see that we have this dark color over here and it fades to a transparent color so that's it for this video i will leave the link of the source code in the description and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day